See, this is the thing with that. Like, most, if you're not like a millennial or younger or whatnot, most people think that you're just flying by the seat of your pants, choosing one thing after another. No, like, most young people are in a fight every day to not end up like their parents. Every day. I told my mom at a young age, I was like 14, I said, I'm either going to play football or I'm going to be rich as hell. There's nothing else I can see myself doing. I can't see myself working the same job every day. Not unless I own the job or if I'm doing something like that. I can't see myself living the way that I've seen other people live close to, I can't. So when you see me wake up and like, oh man, I gotta go do this interview for this book or man, I gotta go shoot, I gotta go give a speech at this college. It's only because I don't want to work. I don't want to work, wake up and say, oh man, I gotta punch this clock for somebody. No. And I don't think I'm the only one that feels like this. I can't be, <laughs> you know, why else would it be put inside of me? You know, and, and, and that's just how I've been since 14. Well, actually before that, I can't do it any other way. This is my plan A. If plan A doesn't work out, I know a lot of people are saying, go do plan A, do plan Z. By the time you get to C, you're already deflated because you don't even want to do it. Even when it comes to business to me, I would rather be running a fly route, a slant route, a post, than handling negotiations. I would rather be doing a stop route, crossing somebody or something, than actually selling the app. That's my plan A. So imagine if I get the plan C or D. I don't even care anymore. So it's not that millennials are lazy. We just don't give a, give a crap about living the life that you've lived. We want to do better.